All right. Good evening. No, this is not my knife shop. This is my kitchen. I figured I'd uh, expand my horizons a little bit. Make my family some dessert. So we're going to do a chocolate cake with chocolate icing. It's not nothing hard. You know, I only am limited by what I feel I can and can't do. And I believe I can do just about anything. Cooking is one of them. So, I got a coon skin hat on, which is not required, but it does help with the manly aspect of this women's environment. So, with that said, we're going to get to get. I preheated my oven to 350. I got all my ingredients. And all we're going to do right now is set that cake mix to the side. Bring out our baking pan. And we're going to keep this sip. We're not going to overcomplicate nothing. Because life needs to be simple. It's too complicated as it is. We're going to use a little canola oil and spray this cooking pan. Hold it up. Coat her pretty good there. We do that. We'll take a little flour. This is how my mama used to do it. Just put a little bit of flour in the pan. What we're going to do is we're going to knock that thing around a little bit. And we're going to coat this pan with flour so that the cake don't stick to it. Oh yeah, just like so. Okay, there we go. Open the garbage can. Get rid of any of that excess flour. I know I got one here somewhere. There it is. The old dish towel. Clean up a little bit of flour I spilled. Set that pan out of the way for just a second. Now we're going to add our ingredients. This is simple for you fellas out there. You want a quick dessert, takes about 30 35 minutes to bake, or until a toothpick does not stick. This is the dessert for y'all. I'm telling you, it's simple. It's got the cake mix, it's got the oil, it's got the water, and it's got the eggs. That's it. And of course, the ice. All right. We're going to add our oil. Make this little hole here. Add our oil. Just like so, quarter cup. Cup and a quarter of water, just like so, and three eggs. One, two, it ain't perfect, it ain't perfect, and three. Dump all that in there. There we go. Wipe our hands off here. All right. No biggie there. That all. Now, you can take and stir this pan, or you can use a blender. I choose to use a blender. So give me about 30 seconds. Start off on the low. Or you'll swing it everywhere. Make sure you get all the ingredients mixed up real good. Oh yeah. You don't want to get too much air in. Hold up right there just a second. We'll get us a spatula and we'll clean them sides off that bowl. 
get all that down in there, that goodness. Just like that. Tear us off the paper towel, lay that right there like that. And we'll mix it for about 30 more seconds. Make sure you get all that excess flour and all around the edges and get it down in there so you can mix it all up. Mix it till there ain't no more lumps in it. Oh yeah, we're not even going to go on high. And there we have it, race fans. Pop them old feeders loose. Lay them in the sink. Bring our baking pan back over here. All we're going to do is just take a nice, easy time of it and uh, pour that ingredients in that pan. Just like this. Oh yeah, back and forth, nice and even. Just like so. We'll take our spatula and we'll get all of it out of there. Oh yeah, pour it all in there, all that goodness. I'll get her clean, get it all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get it all. Nope, we ain't licking the bowl on this one. <laughs> oh yeah. Set our bowl to the side. Oven's preheated to 350. And we'll bake this thing for about 30 minutes until a toothpick will go down in it and we'll not have no goo on it. All right. Shelf's about middle ways. Slide her on in. And I'll bring you back when she comes out of the oven. Awesome. Welcome to Burly Man's Cooking Show. All right. Oven mitt. Toothpick. Let's check it. Oh, she's beautiful looking. Beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. And she don't stick. So she's ready to come out. So we'll grab us another pot holder here. We'll ease it out of there. Oh, oh my. We'll lay her on the stove for a few minutes. Ah. And when she cools a little bit, let me get you off. When she cools a little bit, we'll lay her up there. We'll get the icing on it. Awesome. She's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Man, don't think you can't cook. Don't think you can't do anything. Look, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? Perfect. Awesome. I'll bring you back when it's icing time. Yes. Awesome. Welcome back. It's cool. That beautiful. Now we can put some icing on this bad boy. Yeah. We got it going on. I'm telling you, y'all. Just don't know. We might as well just get it on out there. We're going to use all this icing. Yeah. Now, I will lick this bowl. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to make sure your cake is cool before you do this. If you don't, you'll tear your cake all to pieces. And your icing will melt and run everywhere. But that's okay. Because we waited till it was cool. And we just smear it around. 
Put a nice coat of icing on this bad boy. I like it. I think she's pretty. Yes, sir. I believe we have us a chocolate cake. You can go for a design on the top of it or just whatever you think. Me, I'm all about function. Designs are okay, but it's not really going to taste any different with a design on it. You know what I mean? Sure you do. But if it makes you happy, we'll come in here and put some waves in it. Mm. Now this is the best part. <laughs> oh my. Mm. You gotta lick the spatula. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm. Mm. Now, we'll take a paper towel and we'll make us a little bitty ball here and we'll come in here and we'll clean the edge of this cake pan up. Make it nice and presentable all the way around. Don't waste that icing. There it is. She's done. Beautiful. Ready to go. I'm going to eat that in a minute. Appreciate y'all hanging with the old burly man and baking a cake and dessert. Wife's going to be back here in a few minutes. We're going to have us some biscuits and gravy and some breakfast stuff. You know, bacon and all that and some eggs. Mm, can't wait. But this is going to be a great dessert. Got a half a gallon of ice cream in the freezer, too. Thank you. God bless you. Watch your top knot. And don't be afraid to wear your coonskin hat in the kitchen. You men get out there and get it. Oh, and I'm calling somebody out. I want to see you in the kitchen. Tasman Kenny Fuller. Yes, you. Let's see it in the kitchen. And keep it rolling. I love y'all.